Hi, I'm Anika Chabrolo and I'm an eighth grader from Frisco, Texas. Today, I want to present you with a way to improve the health of our future generations, a potential cure to the influenza virus. Every year, there are nearly 45... She's only 14 years old and has already won America's top young scientist prize for her discovery of a potential COVID-19 treatment. Anika Chibrolu joins us this morning to tell us more about it. Good morning, Anika. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? So this is pretty amazing. Tell us how this all started. You didn't initially set out to find a potential treatment for COVID-19. How did it start for you? It started with the influenza virus, you're right. Um, I started with doing the influenza virus back two years ago. I got the idea for doing a potential antiviral against the virus. And I entered into my Dallas Regional Science Fair and then into the 3M Young Scientist Challenge. And around the time that I was chosen as a top 10 finalist, that was the time when this uh, COVID-19 pandemic was at its initial peaks. So with the help of my mentor, I collaborated with her and decided that it was best to switch to the COVID-19 pandemic because obviously that's caused more severity than the influenza virus has done in less than a year. Are you learning how to do things like this in your basic science class or are you doing some extra special thing or your parents scientists? Uh, how do you explain this? Well, actually the main answer for it is research because uh, in school we basic fundamentals of science, but outside of school, you need to learn how to implement that for those fundamentals and research more into those to figure out how to use the correlate those to understand how to use those to solve the problems in our daily lives. So to answer your question, she's just incredibly smart and does her homework, Larry. Yes, well, so, I need to write that down. <laughs> Anika, tell us what you found. Is this a, it's, it's a treatment for COVID? What I found was a potential antiviral against the COVID-19 pandemic. So how it works is that I found a molecule out of a database of about 698 million compounds that can bind to the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. By binding to the spike protein, it can change the shape of the protein. Changing the shape of the protein, it can change the function of the protein. The initial function of the spike protein would be to enter and infect host cells. So by finding a molecule that can bind to it, we would be able to stop the spike protein from entering and infecting host cells. I'm sitting here with my mouth hanging open I got because it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? That's amazing. So are they, <laughs> is this going to be used? Right now I did the virtual tests, which are called the in silico tests for drug discovery. The next step would be to do in vitro testing and in vivo testing. And in these stages, we can decide whether the drug is actually effective in human bodies and later testing will determine if it can actually be used in the market. And Larry, what did you do for your eighth grade science fair? Was it optical illusions? Uh, no, I had a styrofoam head that smoked cigarettes. <laughs> It's very complicated. I don't he, he ask can't me to explain, explain it. it to you. It's too complicated. Well, <laughs> this is so amazing. So I'm hoping you won your local science fair. I got third place in my local science fair. Who won? Do you Was say it? third place? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah. That is but the that most. Was, students can I ask who beat you? Because that's got to be the most competitive science fair I've ever heard of. Yeah, it was pretty competitive. The other students were really great. Um, the girl who was actually right next to me presenting, she won, and I thought her project was really amazing, so she deserved it. And she's nice, too. Well, what are your plans for the future, Anika? Do you want to be a, a scientist? Yes, I do want to be a medical researcher when I grow up. I'm sorry, wait, you cut out a little bit. I want to become a medical researcher when I grow up. Well. It's amazing. 14 Changing years old. Changing the world. It's so Good great. Good for you. Congratulations, Anika. It's just wonderful to talk to you. We wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so Keep much. up the good work. And I'm going to give you my daughter's phone numbers. Maybe you can uh, inspire them a little bit. <laughs> I'll talk to you off the air, Anika. For yeah. more information, you can check out youngscientistlab.com. And not to take anything away from that, that kid.